At the moment, Israel has traded fire uh, several times with Hezbollah uh, in uh, across from Lebanon, and the uh, as the Israeli government and the Israeli army get ready to uh, attack Gaza. And Netanyahu said he's spoken today with the leaders of France, Germany, and Greece. Uh, who all apparently have expressed their unswerving support for Israel as Germany starts to evacuate its citizens from Israel on military planes, as the US calls on citizens to take f uh, advantage of any charter flights while they're available, uh, as rockets uh, from Gaza hit sites in Ashkelon, as stones are projected uh, into Israel. Uh, what is what is very interesting, I think, is that the families of the victims, the families of the hostages, uh, say that because of this build-up, this retaliation, there is no chance of negotiation. There's no chance to get their loved ones back. The spokesperson of families of missing Israelis feared held captive in Gaza um, have criticized their own government, Netanyahu's government, for abandoning them and for not engaging in negotiations. Ronan Tsur, who is the head of the family's headquarters, says... Um, in Tel Aviv that if Israel will not negotiate with enemies who want to destroy Israel um, uh, then the government is in, in effect in, in a, is in effect abandoning the families. Tsur says that the families are waiting clarification uh, they're waiting for clarity from the government and it's essential that this is done now that um, uh, Eviata Manor uh, demands a response from the government and from the Red Cross within the next few hours. And uh, Dr. Hagai Levine says there's a need to offer immediate medical attention to captives. And we know that there's at least 126 hostages in the Gaza Strip and possibly as many as 130, possibly more, possibly as many as 200. Uh, Hamas has said that its negotiations for a prisoner swap will only take place after the end of fighting. Um, and uh, in the meantime, President Erdogan's son has joined a pro-Palestinian march in Istanbul. Bilal Erdogan was accompanied by the former interior minister Suleyman Soylu and the former speaker of the Turkish parliament Mustafa Sentop. And Erdogan has said let us make clear our side. We should at least let our feelings be heard. Everyone with a conscience regardless of race or religion are displaying their sentiments towards this genocide.